Hi, I'm Nikisha. And I'm Sipurana. And welcome to Urban Bush Babes. Uh, as you saw in the just the part one previous video, my girl Nikisha laid down, you know, the few things that she uses in the kitchen. So now I'm about to discuss a few items I dwell into when I'm in the kitchen. Uh, you know, truth be told, to be honest, you know, when I think of the kitchen, you know, I think of what I can eat or what I can cook, you know, mm -hmm. much like you. So, you know, for me, it's a little difficult to find things in the kitchen. Uh, you know, there's just certain products that I have to stay clear of because my washing process involves a protective style, which are braids. And even though the braids are loose, you know, there's certain food and condiments that I just can't use in my hair because it's just a difficult and tedious and long process, you know, ridding my hair of certain products. Uh, but there are a few things in the kitchen that I actually use on a religious basis. So I'm going to introduce you to my three main players. My first player is the plastic bag. And you know, not only is this item super cheap, most of the time free and indisposable, it works very conveniently as a shower cap. And the handles actually, for me, they give you more leverage for a more tighter sealed effect around the edges of your hairline if you don't want moisture to seek through, mm -hmm. which I feel sometimes the shower cap lacks in this department. And also, the plastic bag, you know, look how big this thing is. You know, it gives you more room for a larger head of hair or a larger size head. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> And so, you know, it works great for that. And also, too, as you talked about before, it also works good as an indisposable, you know, if you want to use it to as a shower cap for your hot oil treatment. So it works great for that. Mm -hmm. And that's called bagging. Mm -hmm. So my second player is olive oil and extra virgin olive oil. Uh, Olive oil actually works really good, you know, and like most oils, it can make your hair shiny and silky, but olive oil is actually really good. It has a high amount of vitamins and antioxidants, extra virgin olive oil. Now, uh, to really kind of attain the most benefits from your olive oil, you really want to use cold press extra virgin olive oil. And cold press, you know, that basically just means the fruit of the olive was crushed at exactly one time first press and the cold is referring to the temperature you know of the fruit during the crushing process now if the temperature is too high during the crushing process uh, you know this really can uh, affect the quality of the oil you know your olive oil will suffer so lower quality oils you know those that aren't extra virgin olive oil you know those tend to be crushed multiple times at higher temperatures to extract more oil from the olive so you know everyone, if you really, really, really want to get the best benefits, the maximum benefits from your extra olive oil, you have to really make sure it's cold pressed because you'll get the highest percentages of vitamins <clears throat> and antioxidants, which is really beneficial for your strands. And also too, olive oil, like a lot of oils, is really good for your nails. So a little trick for me is, is that when I'm moisturizing my hair, I'll actually moisturize my hair nail polish free because the nail beds will actually reap the benefits along with your hair as you're putting those oils into your hair. So my third little player, it's my last player, but it's last but not least, it's my all-star, my starter. It's coconut oil, and as you heard, we love coconut oil. It makes a lot of benefits for your hair. And as I stated in a previous video before, coconut oil has a very high moisture retaining capacity. You know, with regular applications, you know, it can actually help you rid of dandruff. But there are two important facts about coconut oil that I did not mention. Coconut oil is high in lark acid, and what this means is one of the main reasons why people lose their hair or you go bald is because of <laughs> bald sounds scary. <laughs> Sorry. I, I feel you. I, I feel you. You know, one of the main reasons why you lose your hair is because of microbial action on the scalp and hair roots. And I know you might be thinking sitting there at home, what the fudge is some microbial action? You know what I'm saying? And so let me break it down for you. And truth be told, now you go to the front, I had to break it down for myself. 
Uh, you know, hair can be extremely beautiful, but it can also be the dirtiest because it's left open all the time, unlike other body parts. So therefore, it attracts dust and microbes. And microbes are simply tiny little organisms that you can't see without the aid, you know, of a microscope. So, so yeah, everybody, that means you mm. can have a whole bunch of tiny little organisms just chilling all up in your hair. <laughs> Exactly. Sound like a little bit from a horror movie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, so, you know, dust works as a breeding ground for dust mites, microbes, and fungus. And these mm -hmm. are the things that work their darndest, like they work in five jobs over time to weaken the roots of your hair. And this is the cause for hair loss. So really, what you want at home, what we all want, we want an antimicrobial agent. And that's what lard acid is in coconut coconut oil. It's found in high percentages of coconut oil. So that's really a major benefit mm -hmm. using coconut oil. So another, also another little, little fact about coconut oil is like water. Water is very high. It's the only thing on earth, this whole wide universe and all the planets that exist that we know of that can really moisturize your hair at 100%. It means it can penetrate the shaft and that's just simply a, take a strand of your hair, that outer layer of that strand of hair is called your shaft. Inside that strand of hair, inside is the cortex, so the shaft surrounds the cortex. So when you when you when you experience really dry or brittle hair, and this tends to be people who use a lot of heat or chemicals on their hair, you can actually ruin that shaft. So your cortex is cortex is exposed. But you know that's a different video. But anyway, you know <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we only got what, five ten minutes. So you know actually water can penetrate the shaft of your hair at hundred percent. And studies have shown that coconut oil actually can, it's very, it's right up there, it's a big contender with water at 90%. And you know, olive oil's next at 25%. But I can't say it enough how much coconut oil can just benefit your hair. So you know, that's it. Those are my three key players in the game. You know, kitchen all up in the <laughs> hair. And I will be going to Trader Joe's after this video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, they're just a, a, you know, in the last video that you saw, I actually had, you know, a artificial olive oil. It was mixed with a whole bunch of chemicals mm -hmm. and stuff. And I said I was looking for, you know, all natural olive oil. You know, that thing was flammable. You know, if I walk by a candle, it would whoosh, my hair's going to blow up. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I had to look for something that was natural. And exactly where I, just, I did get this from Trader Joe's. This is awesome. <laughs> Anyway, those, that's what I pretty much use in the kitchen. Okay, so ladies, that wraps it up for mm -hmm. Cipriana's what I use in the kitchen. And mm -hmm. we're going to have more videos on other things we use in the kitchen. Yes, and please come by our website, urbanbushbabes.com. And we'll see you later. Yes. Thanks for stopping by. Stay classy. Peace.